Sally Jesse was busy with the uh, boot camp shtick for teens. Oh, there he is. Look at him. Jesus. Man, Malaysia. Malaysia is all over the place if you talk about stamps. But that's beyond the scope of this today's video blog. Oh, poll puts Hillary Clinton in dead heat with Joe Biden for 2020 if she jumped into the race. Yeah, sure, that that's so true. That couldn't be a fake poll. Oh, it's a, probably a landline poll. There's another uh, poll that came out that has Bernie Sanders ahead in New Hampshire. I don't know why that didn't show up next. Uh, Charlie's Angel actress Jacqueline Smith has married four times. She's supposed to be proud of that? Well, she uh, battled breast cancer. That's cool. She still looks stunning at 74. Maybe she and Tracy Cox can, uh, they can be wing. Do women have the wing guy? Oh, there she is. Tracy Cox reveals surprising facts about sex. Oh, yeah, I, I saw that video. Um, let's see. I think I remember. She was talking about, um, how uh, she knows a lot. She reads Cosmopolitan, and they put out really super sexy articles. And look at that. Uh, she's got black and white dress. Is that a Freemason thing? Why are we supposed to not mention the Freemasons when it's in our face? Mother claims her autistic son's behavior immediately improved after she removed dairy from his diet. That sounds correct. I think I've seen that idea floating about. Do um, you notice how I talk about autism and then Daily Mail talks about autism the very next day? You know, I'm some conspiracy out there coming up with these. Okay, that's just bad satire. I might be psychic. Damn, I don't have these other numbers on these. We might be about halfway through. Female news anchor slams viewers for body shaming and says, we are not your eye candy. After revealing, a stranger told her she looks mighty big on TV. You know where that guy messed up? He should have said, and I assume it's a he. Maybe it was a woman. We don't know. Or maybe this is a COINTELPRO fake article. They're just chucking it in there to make us think about it. They're simulating actions and outcomes. I would have said, uh, you look mighty handsome. All right, that wasn't funny. It's was probably sexist. But that was, I like that word. It's funny. It's, um, what's it, a paradox? It's an oxymoron. It doesn't add up the two words together. I mean, calling a woman handsome, it's, I think they used to call them handsome back in the day. And if you watch enough of those old movies, you'll see some weird stuff going on. But, uh, we won't mention that. But we will mention that, uh, some of those names were swapped. You'd have women called Charlie. It's kind of confusing at times, but uh, those are still the best movies. The only problem with the pre-codes is you have to check the runtime. You might be getting a fake chopped up movie. Many times on re-release, they took out the good stuff. They censored. It's called the production code. The Hayes code. All right, moving on. Sorry if I was sexist. Why is she bringing that up? Why is she... I could bring up a million things. Why is she sharing that like it's news? It just happened to her. It could have been a random fluke. Uh, we're all getting trolled. What is her problem? Why would she even mention that? Piers Morgan, great. Do you ever notice how that guy has a lot to say about America and Trump? And didn't he come over here and fail? We don't like his... He's got no entertainment value. He's this fat Brit. He's a fat, a fat F face. Try not to curse. He took a swipe at Meghan Markle. Oh, he's influential in uh, London. Is that the uh, based on the British landline poll? 